Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my October TBR. As you saw from the thumbnail, I'm being way too ambitious this month. I had 11 books that I was holding up. Three of them I'm currently reading, so I'm filming this on the 28th, and when this goes up on the 2nd, I could have finished more of those books by then. So I'll let you know as I talk to them from past Christina to future Christina and you guys. But yeah, I have really high hopes because there's so, so, so many books that I want to read in October because it is my favorite month of the year. I love the spooky horror stuff. So yeah, it's going to be a long video. Let's get right into it. So naturally, I'm going to start with the books that I am currently reading. And the first one is There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. I grabbed this earlier this week when it was released this last Tuesday. And I'm only about 25 pages through, which I know isn't a lot. It's barely currently reading. But I've been sick, so I haven't been in the right headspace to sit and enjoy it all for what it is. But so far, I am really enjoying it. It is a young adult horror thriller, and all that I've read so far is that it's very Scream-based. If you've read that movie franchise, it is very high school drama, and so far, there's a lot of death involved, and I'm, and I'm into it. From last month's TBR, I am currently reading It by Stephen King. I broke it up into pieces so that each day I could read a section of like 65 pages and I've been doing really bad at that. I'm about 90 pages through and enjoying it. I have not yet seen the movie and I probably won't until it comes out on Blu-ray or whatever just because I really, really, really want to read the book first. So hopefully I get it done through October. It is like the perfect time to be reading this book but I've heard really good things about the movie, so excited to get further into this. And then finally, I'm reading The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. This book only took me, what, four or five years to read and pick up. I am almost 200 pages through and really enjoying it. It is not yet as creepy as I thought it would be, but some part of it I'm still drawn to the plot line. I was reading it the other day at work and I just couldn't get enough of it. I was struggling to get off of my break in order to go back to work because I could not stop reading. So yeah, really enjoying this, hoping to have finished this before this video goes up, but I'll let you know and if not, it'll be in my wrap up for October. This month I would like to read Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Infernal Devices series, which is the spinoff from the Mortal Instruments. Last month I read City of Glass and I really enjoyed it. I am reading this collection of books with my friend Keisha, who I have a link down below. So we've decided to read them in publication order, which means that this one goes next. And I've heard even better things about this series than the last one, so I'm really excited to get into it. I think this one is more Victorian, but I'm not sure. So our next A Year Thumb theme actually starts today, and it goes until Sunday at midnight, whatever your time zone is, and our theme is LGBTQIA+. So I have two books that I would like to read for that theme. So the first one I want to read is The Love Interest by Kale Dietrich. This was on my TBR a month or two ago and I never got to it. But from what I understand, this is a young adult dystopian about a world where there is an organization that kind of hires people to fall in love with other people of power so that the spies, we'll call them, can get the secrets and kind of figure out so in this novel there is a bad one and a good one trying to fend for the love of this woman but the two guys end up falling for each other it sounds really up my alley and it sounds like something i'll enjoy so i'm excited for this and then i finally want to read simon versus the hobo sapiens agenda by becky albertalli i've owned this book for quite some time and heard nothing but good things it was actually on my 17 books to read in 2017 list so it's the perfect time to read it it fits the theme. It seems very fall to me, even though it's a contemporary, because I think they're in school. That's why it seems fall. Um, but yeah, this is just a young adult contemporary about a guy named Simon who I think is very active online about being gay, or he gets a message that somebody knows he's gay because he's very closeted at school. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. And then the last five books that I want to talk about are all horror or dark thriller reads, because like I said, I love October, and these all feel very Halloween-y, fall to me. So yeah, the first two are also on my 17 books to read in 2017 list. The first one is Doctor Sleep by Stephen King. I've been holding on to this for so long and I really enjoyed The Shining. So I was hoping to have finished it last month so that I didn't have two Stephen King books to read in a month, but I've been saving this one for October. So I have to try and get through it. It's thick, but not as thick. So hopefully it doesn't take me too long. 
because I also want to pick up Night Film by Marcia Pestle. This one I honestly don't know too much about. I think it's a murder mystery, but I'm not sure. But what intrigues me the most is like the different medias that it's told in. So I'm really, really excited to get to this. Another one I think I've been holding on to since like 2013. So it's about time I read it. And then the last three books, I'm not going to talk about too much because I just hold them in my last book haul. So I will link that down below in case you missed it. But I bought these books last month and I can't wait to read them. The first one is Famous Last Words by Katie Allender. This is a young adult thriller that sounds like it's gonna be a little bit lighter and a little bit satirical. So I'm looking forward to this. I think it'll be a quick read. I picked up The Dead House by Dawn Kurtakic, which I think is going to be very thriller and psychological. And then I also want to read The Rules by Nancy Holder and Debbie Bigway. This one I might pick up first just because it sounds so saw to me and that really intrigues me. Plus it's the thinnest of them all. So yes, this is my very overly ambitious TBR for the month of October. Thankfully October is a pretty long month and we have Canadian Thanksgiving mixed in there. So I have some time off from work. So yeah, if you've read any of the books that I talked about, make sure you let me know what you thought of them so that I can get even more excited for all of them. Um, if you want to participate in a yearathon, I will leave all of our social media links for it down below. We would love to have you. So make sure you let me know what you'll be reading next month. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.